Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you all know, my name is Ava, and the point of this channel is to educate people about the really cool, practical and advanced technology in this field where we zap cancer with radiation, hence the name Cancer Zappers. Are you a student who's just curious about what field to go into? Or are you someone who's just generally interested in technology and science? Whether you're a friend or family member of a patient with cancer, or you yourself are a patient with cancer, or perhaps you're a clinician who is referring your patient to a radiation clinic, this channel might be for you. And if you're already in this field, this just might be the channel for you. Subscribe. 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 In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the importance of imaging the patient before treatment. Imaging is important. For example, I went scuba diving in Mexico and took along an underwater camera. I was able to take some footage of the sea world. The camera wasn't great, which I regret, but there were some things I could do to make the images better, like this, playing with software filtering effects. Before we treat a patient, it's important to image him or her so that we know that we're truly targeting the tumor and sparing the parts that we don't want to irradiate. Images can be taken with different kinds of imagers. Before, many images were taken on film that were later developed while the patient waited. Now, we have electronic devices that provide pretty immediate images now that there's no need to develop film. They can either use the same high energy mega voltage beams that the patient is treated with to provide 2D images similar to film or much lower energy x-rays from a source added to the linac. There are things we can do to improve image quality. Image on left, we see more bone. Image on right, more soft tissue. Type of energy makes a difference. Sometimes we care to align the patient's bony anatomy and other times we don't. Not only is it possible to get 2D images pretty immediately, but we can obtain volumetric images by sweeping the beam around the patient. When we image, we want to compare the image we obtain at time of treatment with the one that was created in the patient's plan. The offset determines how we need to shift the patient so that the position is pretty accurate. But to get within the ballpark before imaging, we can refer to markers that were placed on the patient's skin that point to a known reference point. We align the patient up in the treatment room to the lasers which intersect at a known point. That is pretty much shared in common with the planning software in the treatment room in reality. Since the patient may come multiple times in the week to be treated, even on consecutive days, we may not always choose to image just so we reduce the amount of unnecessary dose to the patient. Alara, as low as reasonably achievable. Check out my previous video if you missed out on this new term. But just know that as much as we image, we still may not accurately target the tumor. Don't forget, there are certain tumors that tend to move around more, like certain lung tumors that move when the patient breathes. Tune in to the rest of my videos if you'd like to know just how we respond to such challenges.